the common modalities of governance for managing resources in empirical fields. It's, I think, related to what a lot of people say, that when a time for an idea has come, then there will be a large number of people who will start identifying with that idea. And uh, I would submit that the time for a commons movement has come. Uh, we do know that it has been preceded by, for example, the free software movement, which was built around the principles of the commons. But for a long time, it remained uh, sort of limited to the software community. But there are other developments which now lend force a, a much larger strength to the commons movement. And one of the very important ones is the fact that today there is a crisis in new knowledge creation. It's not just a crisis that uh, people who believe that knowledge does not reach the people who need it the most. But it's also a crisis amongst corporations in their ability actually to create knowledge because the intellectual property based system of creating knowledge is clearly something that's not working. It's not working not just for the people across the globe but even for the corporations who are involved in, who have been involved in creating uh, new knowledge or some form of uh, new knowledge, it benefits uh, them. If you look at the software sector, IBM today is the biggest opponent of intellectual property rights, the biggest, uh, at one time, the biggest uh, proponent of intellectual property. If you look at pharmaceutical sector, which has been the other area where intellectual property rights have been prominent, the pipeline for new products has in the last 10 years dried down to dangerous levels. You just don't have new molecules which you can use as new drugs in the future. Now, which also goes to show that there is a certain bankruptcy in the present model of knowledge creation. I'm taking two examples, but it's, it's similar for many other areas of knowledge crea creation, uh, where the whole notion of knowledge creation is premised in the fact that the less you allow the knowledge to be shared, the better it is for the people who hold this knowledge. Now this goes against the entire concept, the entire history of how knowledge, new knowledge is created. Because knowledge actually expands when you share it, when you get new ideas. And historically we have seen that when people have closed their minds to other influences, knowledge creation suffers, and that's what we are seeing with the IP system, where multinational corporations and other commercial entities are trying to restrict artificially something that is actually a heritage of mankind, which does not diminish by sharing, but increases, and that is the other uh, sort of uh, key feature of knowledge, unlike uh, physical property which if you share theoretically, you can say that it will diminish. What you have is less. But if you share knowledge, it does not diminish, it expands. So the whole notion of intellectual property is based on a notion of something that is virtually infinite. So you create an artificial shortage through the medium of intellectual property so as to have control over it. So this is the, uh, I would say, the primary reason why the notion of knowledge commons the notion of commons as a way of really taking forward human endeavor in the form of science, in the form of knowledge creation, is starting to now attract a much larger number of people. And these are people who come today from diverse backgrounds. There are social movements who see in it an answer to what they have been talking about for a long time. That today, on one hand, you have the ability to make a fundamental change in people's lives through creation of knowledge that has taken place in the last three to four decades. But on the other hand, you have that same knowledge being restricted in fewer and fewer hands and not reaching people. You have also a very large number of people who are involved in knowledge creation themselves, researchers, scientists, uh, etc., 
who feel frustrated by the fact that the work that they are doing uh, ultimately does not translate into any fundamental difference because that work is sought to be closed in silos by people who hold intellectual property, who hold that uh, research. So this, I would say, is a major reason why you have a much larger interest in the commons movement today. Uh, yes, I, I, I do believe so. Uh, there would be a necessity to popularize the concept uh, much more than what has been done till now. Because uh, uh, I think uh, the idea is still within the social forum, is still restricted to uh, a small set of uh, movements and organizations. I think the idea needs to be disseminated in a much larger set of people because the concept of commons uh, is something that uh, would be very close to the heart of what the World Social Forum seeks to do, which is to create a new world. And I would submit that in a new world that we seek to create, uh, that world would also need to have a way of creating knowledge, uh, of transmitting knowledge, of reaching knowledge out to those who need it the most uh, in ways that are very different from what we are doing today. Uh, and the approach of the commons is actually an approach that that kind of a different world needs to embrace. There has been a much uh, larger participation in terms of the diversity. Uh, in Berlin, we had a handful of organizations who were involved in organizing and a slightly larger number in actually, actually participated. Uh, this time there has been a much larger number and, and uh, also what has been very useful is the very large participation from different African uh, countries and uh, organizations in the process. Now that has, uh, so it, but it's not just a question of participation in terms of numbers of organizations of people. But also because when you have no, more people, more organizations participating, uh, you have new ideas uh, which uh, the forum then uh, is required to address. And that gives rise to a larger vitality, which we are starting to see. There are ideas that we started exploring in Belém, but which have now been deepened by the kind of uh, experiences that uh, have been uh, brought here by different organizations. So I think it has been a, a development that's uh, very promising.